Felina Celine and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome, welcome. If you guys are a subscriber and you're coming back to my channel, thank you, welcome back. So what I'm going to be doing today is a clean with me video. We need to tackle the kitchen, the laundry, the living room, and just tidy up a bit. I noticed that today it was really hard for me to get things done around the house. Not necessarily like laundry or just like housework, but just work in general. Usually I'll sit in my computer and I'll type things up or usually I'm answering back emails or filming or something. Right now it's around two o'clock and I just feel like there's a weight on me and I feel a little anxious and it has to do with my workspace. My office right now got messy because I was filming like a DIY project in there and there's like scraps of paper everywhere and just like things tossed around and my like filming equipment is in there. So it like completely stressed me out and I feel like whenever I am in a messy room or in a cluttered desk or the desk is messy, like it just stops me from being as productive as I want to be. I feel like cleaning is kind of therapeutic. Like once you get done and once you're clean, you just feel like this weight has been lifted off your shoulder and you can relax and enjoy your day or just like be even more productive and get things done around the house. So that is what I'm here to do today. I'm just going to go ahead and clean the house, tidy up a bit. Hopefully this motivates you to do the same so that way you don't feel that pressure on you and you can enjoy your day. So let's get started. And I am super excited for today's video because it is in collaboration with my friend Alexandra and she has the cutest channel. I feel like all her videos are super genuine and honest so any reviews that she has and any other kind of videos when it comes to like beauty or fashion or cleaning or organization or anything like that you guys are going to absolutely love. She has such a unique sense of style that it totally motivates me to get out of my comfort zone and like try new things so you guys are going to absolutely adore her. Make sure to check her out. Alright so let's begin in the living room because I feel like this is the easiest room to tidy up since it's usually just like the pillows that need to be fluffed up or propped up and then also I just have like some random things here like my shoes, Coco's toys, and then just like some of our gadgets like um, Ricardo's GoPro camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring everything upstairs and this is pretty much it and then all I have to do really is just dust in here which we're going to skip that today and we're going to focus on just making sure that we vacuum the floor especially because we have two little doggies and sometimes they bring in like leaves or random things from outside so I just like to keep up with this and also this Dyson vacuum is also great for light or thin carpet not so much thick carpet because the suction power is not the best on this one I have like the cheapest version of this Dyson vacuum and it's really great but it's not the best on carpet and that's okay though because I mostly use it for our hardwood floors Now that the living room is nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the kitchen. By the way, Ricardo gave me these flowers. I thought it was the sweetest thing ever. I was having a bad day the day before yesterday and he is just the sweetest. Like he knew that I was at home and he was at work so he just sent over some flowers and it totally made my day. So I feel like I have the best husband. He's absolutely amazing. I love him and I'm so grateful to have him. Alright, so let's move on to the kitchen where I'm just going to go ahead and clean out the fridge because I need to put away some of the groceries that got brought in and usually I bring them in and I put them away right away but there was just no space in the fridge so I had to clean that up really quick. It didn't take long and then afterwards I'm going to go ahead and put away the groceries that I want to go get. This is what I got from Target. I just need to take everything out. We got some bananas, we got some dog food. And I also bought Ricardo some t-shirts and a dress shirt since we're planning to take a small trip somewhere. Not sure where yet. Um, we don't wanna go too far, but I did wanna get him some nice clothes. This shirt is really nice. And then we also have some tissue paper and just like some other household items in there and I also got some happy mail this is from the planner society and they have the most gorgeous planner like accessories and supplies and their monthly subscription box and I'm gonna open it I'm so excited and I'm not sure what's in there yet but mr. Coco over here what are you doing mr. yeah 
You're so excited. I'm curious to know how many times a day do you guys load your dishwasher? I feel like since it is just Ricardo and I, I can actually go through like a day or a day and a half before I go ahead and load the dishwasher completely. So it just depends. Sometimes I do just wash the dishes by hand, but it just depends if I made like a big dinner or if it fills up completely. Let me know. I'm just curious to find out. just me or is your favorite part of cleaning up cleaning the counters I don't know why I think it's maybe because I really like the scent of my cleaner this is the Mrs. Myers cleaner in the basil scent and it just makes the kitchen smell so good and it actually does linger for a while if you guys use these cleaners because it just smells so good like after I'm done cleaning it just smells so clean and fresh so this is probably my favorite part and I'll wipe down everything like the coffee area and also like the cabinets sometimes it just smells so good I needed to update the coffee bar I haven't had any good ideas since Valentine's Day because I just loved the pink so much that I wanted to keep it longer I just got rid of the little um, dolly uh, that was down here is that what it's called and then I got rid of like the straws that had um, hearts on them but everything else I kept because it's so cute but I want to redecorate this spot because I feel like every season I love to change it up it just makes me happy it's just like the first thing that you look at in the morning when you're making yourself coffee um, so I think that's really cute but I did find this at um, where did I find it at? I didn't keep the price tag. I want to say that I found this at Home Goods, and it says tea break. There was also a coffee one, and I should have just gotten it because it's so cute, even though I don't store my coffee in these. Look, I haven't even put anything inside of there, but I just have to, like, um, put my little tea bags inside of there because so far, this is where my tea bags are. Look how cute this is. So this is actually from a subscription box from Simply Gilded. She has a lot of like different planner accessories and I just love that box so much that I actually stuffed all of my teas inside of here to keep them in there because the box that these actually came with was not that cute but I'm like this is adorable this makes me happy I'm going to use this to store my tea bags which I thought was so funny um, and then these are just so pretty I found these at Target um, and the tea's pretty good too so I just thought that was cute Instead of sweeping our floors, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I just use a Dyson for pretty much everything. It just picks up all of the dog hair, all of the dirt, all of the lint, any dust bunnies. It does such a great job. Even though to me it is a very pricey gadget to have, it's definitely like more of a luxury item because you definitely don't need this product. But I feel like it is worth every single penny. I've been getting the best use out of it because I use it on a daily basis. But because of that, I have to make sure that I put it back on the charger after every single room and then I'll take a break and then clean the next room. So that way it doesn't eat up too much of the battery because I have noticed that the battery doesn't last as long as when obviously when I first purchased it, which it wasn't that long ago. I want to say that it was maybe seven or eight months ago that I got it, but I love it so much. Like honestly, if it breaks in a heartbeat, I will go out and get another one. I'm making frijoles with tacos tonight and oh, I'm so excited. So I let them soak all morning. So this is what was inside of this, um, this pot. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to cook them. My mom said for like an hour, let me know if you guys have any recommendations for like super amazing frijole recipes because I want to know. I'm just going to go ahead and cover that up and I'm going to show you guys what is inside of this right here. 
Something that I do like to do and that I've been doing for a while now is making sure to go through all of our mail that same day. Otherwise, it's just going to pile up and get cluttered somewhere in the kitchen. So I'd rather just go through it quickly. All right, this is what came inside of the PR package and we have some foundation from Bare Minerals. And I absolutely loved that it was packaged inside of this bag because I could reuse it. This is like a cooling bag, like a cooler, like a little mini cooler, which is so cute. And then they also included two different brushes. So I'm so excited. This right here is from the Planner Society and they have the cutest subscription boxes. It is just so gorgeous. It has a bunch of like different scrapbook paper so you can make like your own dashboards, like your own notebooks, I don't know, different kinds of things. There's all different kinds of accessories and it's always like one thing. So we have a bunch of different die cuts that are so cute. These are like um, pockets that you can put on the side of your planner. We have this would be like a pen holder and it's like, oh my gosh, so cute. I just love it. We have some sticky notes, some notebook or notepads. Um, over here, these are my favorite. Look how cute these are. And these are just like bookmarks that you can put inside of your planner. We have some stickers. These are pen holders. And then we have a few rolls of washi tape in here too. Just so cute. I love the Planner Society. All right, let me show you guys my office. The reason why it's so crazy in here is because I've been working a lot in here and doing some projects on my Cricut machine, which I did film. That's why I have my lighting equipment here and just like other stuff. But I have like uh, the Easy Press here, um, all like scraps and things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And it is a new product from Cricut. So I was testing out a few things before actually diving into the project. So I made a huge mess over on this side because I ran out of space. And then I have some more stuff over here. And then of course, like always, there are just so many PR packages that started piling up here. And then I needed some more space. So all of the wires and stuff like that is from my filming equipment. And all of this stuff is just like extra things that I need to clean. And it looks a little crazy, I know. But... That's what happens. That's what happens. And then and then because of this mess, I feel like I couldn't sit in here and continue like editing the video. So that's why whenever I say like if your space is not clear and if it's messy, like you don't feel like you can do anything in the space. You feel like anxious because you know certain work has to get done, but you have to clean first. So that's what we're going to do. Another really good investment that I would buy instantly are these lights. I've had these for over three, four years now, and they make the biggest difference when it comes to your videos, especially when there's no natural lighting and you're doing work at night or you're filming. Like it just makes such a huge difference. So I would recommend them. They were really inexpensive. I bought like the cheapest lights and they've lasted me for such a long time. So I'm gonna make sure to link them down below if you guys are interested. And now let's clean up all of these little scrap sheets of paper and just like random things that I used for my projects. I'm so excited to share with you guys the Cricut projects because you guys have been asking me for more videos. I did a video showing you guys what I did with the permanent vinyl decals and how I accessorized different things and things that you could make for gifts and stuff like that. So I will have that video linked down below. Check it out. I love my Cricut machine. I feel like you could do so many things and it's just so easy to use. It's definitely user friendly, a lot more than the silhouette in my opinion, um, but I do love it. And it's home is over here on top of the bookcase. So I just move it from place to place whenever I need it. That way it doesn't take up too much space and it looks really pretty too. I need to put away these Cricut supplies and I just realized that I have no space for them. So I'm trying to find some space because over here we have like iron-on transfer, um, paper or vinyl or whatever that is. And then we have um, some vinyl over here. We have more vinyl over here. So I'm like trying to figure out where to put it because all these are still filled with like other things. Like this is just like um, picture paper whenever I want to print out like pictures. Um, so that's full and then over here we just have like shipping supplies and just like some other stuff so I need to find a space for that. For right now this is going to be their home. They don't necessarily fit completely in there but at least they're not going to be completely like smushed. And a bunch of little scrap sheets of paper and then I'm going to put this I don't want it to be squished. Right now. 
This section right here has been my catch-all recently. As you can tell, there's just a bunch of random things and just like garbage. I'm like, how did that even get there? Like, I don't understand. Looking at this makes me feel so overwhelmed. Like, it really does. And sometimes I don't even want to tackle that mess. But I feel like it just happens. And I try to clean it every few days or so. But this time I got kind of out of hand. And it's just a bunch of like different packages and stuff. It felt so nice to finally get that done and finish cleaning it. So what I like to do is, instead of me going up and down the stairs a million times, I like to put things in piles so that way I can transfer it to the next room. And something that I didn't realize before purchasing this house is how much exercise I get going up and down these stairs. I always, always wanted a two story home, but now that we do have this two story home, I feel like it's just so much exercise. Like, I'm not complaining, I do love it, but it could be a little tiring sometimes. I could totally hear my mom say, pues querías casa más grande, ahora aguántate. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on let's head on upstairs and get some laundry done. I do love the convenience of having the laundry room upstairs by the bedroom because that way it's closer to all of the closets so I can put away things easily. And I put in a load earlier today and so what I'm gonna do now is just make sure that I hang up anything that doesn't go in the dryer. And I love the little pole that we have here. It came installed when we moved in so that was really nice. And then just sorting things out. By the way, if you guys didn't know, about four years ago now, I used to work at a dry cleaners and I remember how many things people would leave in their pockets. So now like, I will never forget to check pockets on any of our clothes and Ricardo is always leaving things in his pockets, like his earphones and also just like some cash or just like some random things. And like, I'm always saving the load of laundry by checking those pockets. I'm finally done and it feels so nice. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it gave you some cleaning motivation. Don't forget to check out my friend Alexandra. She has the cutest channel. I absolutely love everything about her channel because she is just so genuine and honest and I just love her. You guys are going to love her too, so make sure to check her out right after this and subscribe to her channel. You won't regret it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.